Welcome to the day two of Excel Automation Bootcamp. Today we will learn quick execute using buttons and shortcuts. So let's get started. Okay, so first the agenda of the day. We will talk about the recap what we did yesterday. Then we'll see the different types of buttons. Then we'll see how to customize the buttons. Then we will assign macros to the buttons. Then we'll use image as a button. And finally, we'll create custom tabs and quick access. And then we'll go to today's actions. Okay, so let's come to the recap. So what we did yesterday was we activated the developer developer tab. We did the settings for the macros. We enabled them. We recorded our first macro and we run our first macro, right? And today we'll see how buttons can be used for all these. Okay, so there are two types of buttons that are available in Excel. So if you go to the developer tab and the insert menu. We have the form control button and the active X control button. Okay, so that's what we see here, right? And now let's see how we can customize these buttons and use it for macros. So moving on to the next sheet, this is about button customization. So there are various properties which you could edit or change, you know, to define your buttons in a better shape rather than from the standard way that they look. Okay, so let's go to the practice sheet and try to play with these buttons. Okay, so here I'll go to the insert menu and first I will add a button from the form controls. So I'll drag like this and put a button here. So as soon as you do that, there is a menu which pops up which says assign macro. Here you could assign a macro that is already existing in your worksheet or you could define a new macro or record a new macro. So all the possibilities are here. If you don't want to do it right now, you could also click cancel and your button will appear. So that is the way the button looks like. Now we'll first see how to customize this button. So if you select it and do a right click, you will get the option of format control. Okay. So you can go to the format control here. You could define or change the font, the font style or the size or the color, right? Also there are possibilities, you know, to change the alignment uh, like the horizontal and the vertical alignments from center to left, right, or distributed, the orientations, the size, and other properties, right? Okay, so let's try something with the font. I'll increase the font a little bit, and let's say we change the color from black to red. Okay, so this is the preview, and that's how our button will look like. You could also change this text if you want. Okay, now let's try to insert the other button, which is the ActiveX control button. So I'll select some cells and do it the same way. And here you see there is no pop-up menu that appears. Okay, so but still you could also assign a macro to this. We'll see later how this can be done. First, let's see how to customize this. So here you see the menu is a little bit different. And here we get a, a you know place where we can go to the properties. Okay, so we can go to the properties and these are the properties for this button. Right, so that's the name of the button. This is the back color. So you could choose some back color from the predefined system, or you could go to the palette and let's say define a back color like this. Okay, then the back style could be opaque or transparent. Okay, so let's keep it opaque at the moment. Then this is the caption command button one. You could edit it and you know change it to uh, let's say a test button. Okay, then the button is enabled or no? Yes, so you could also select false here. This is the font, this is the four color. So you could play around with different settings. Also, you know, you could increase or decrease the width of the button. If you go to categorized, uh, there are certain additional options. For example, you could define a picture here and that picture would come on the button, right? So that's the way both the buttons can be customized and then used. Okay, so now we'll go back and see what is the next slide. Okay, so moving back, then we go to the next sheet, which is the assigning of button to a macro. Okay, so both the uh, buttons have a different style. Uh, in the form button, we saw that we get this kind of a menu. In the command button, we don't get that menu, but we could right click and go to view code and then assign a macro here, right? So let's go to the practice sheet and see. So here, since we did not add any macro in the beginning, what we can do is we can right click again here and click on assign macro. The same window appears up. So you could 
choose the existing macros or click on new so here you could type anything and that would you know be the code for behind that button okay so for the moment i will type a standard uh, you know command which is message box msg box and write test button one okay and just save it and now if i click the button you'll see the test button one appears we'll learn more about message boxes uh, next day okay so this is just an example to show how the button works so this could be any macro or any script that is behind the button now when you want to assign a macro to this active x button there is a little bit difference if you try to you know right click it it will not happen so for that you will have to first click on the design mode under the developer tab like this and here now you could select the button okay and now you have the possibility to do a right click and then go to view so you see the uh, private sub function for this button uh, comes up and here you could type let's say msg box and then test button 2 okay and we'll save it and then when i come outside i still cannot click it because you see it gets selected on clicking so i have to come out of the design mode and then click it and you see that we get that message box so that's the way on both the buttons how you can assign the macros right so let's go back and see what is the next topic okay so then we come to use image as button so in case you want to be more creative and you don't want to use the standard buttons you also have an option to use image as a button okay so we'll go to the practice sheet and see how this works right so we are on the practice sheet and here first i'll go to the insert menu and under the illustrations i can add pictures or shapes or screenshots for buttons okay so let's see some examples so i click on the pictures and here we have get an option to choose the picture from device or some online pictures right i'll click on this device it will open up my pictures uh, like on stored on the pc i'll take this one and insert it so you see that's an image i can reduce the size and adjust it accordingly you know to look like a button and then once we are done with this i can right click on this image and you see we get an option of assigning a macro so that way a picture can be used like a button so if i assign any macro behind it it will act as a button similarly if i go back to the insert menu again and go to illustrations i can take up shapes from here so let's say i take this shape i define this shape here and now if i do a right click then also i get an option of assigning a macro so this way you can define your own customized buttons right you could change the styles fonts fills color and everything and you can customize your and make your own buttons okay so that was about the different types of buttons that you could make also what you could do is you could take screenshots you know from here and then use them as buttons okay it's always that whatever image you have here you could just right click and assign a macro to it right okay so let's go back and see the next topic okay so then the next topic is creating custom tabs and quick access now when you're working on excel there might be certain shortcuts or certain things that you want to access again and again and you will have to go to different menus you know go inside them and then click on those things which may involve multiple clicks to avoid that and get those things on the custom tabs and the quick access we could define these things here in excel okay so what we mean by a custom tab is this is a tab that you see here right that's the insert tab now if i try to explain uh, you know the tables here is one group and this group has different options now this is the other group the add-ins is the uh, separate group then the charts is a separate group which has different options and these insert draw page layout formulas these are different tabs right similarly you could define your own tab here an additional tab and then you could define what do you want to see in that tab so all the things that you access again and again you could put inside your own tab right 
So first let's uh, go and check out and add a new tab that is your own custom defined tab and let's see how this works. Okay. So for that I'll click on this empty area and click on customize ribbon. So as soon as you do that you see the Excel options window will appear here by default it is checked to customize ribbon and here you will see all the different types of tabs which are already available in your Excel sheet right to add a new tab what you could do is you can click on this new tab button here okay so let's do it and you see a new tab is created here okay and here the new tab comes with a new group so you could also add new groups to it so if I select the new tab and click on this new group you see new groups are added so I have three groups now and here then we could customize or define our own names so if I right click here there's an option for rename so I can you know rename this new tab to let's say my tab okay then the new group to let's say group one so that will be my group one and I could also define an icon for that if it's I mean if I wish okay so let's choose an icon okay then let's rename this one to group two Okay, choose an icon then rename this one as to group 3 choose another icon and that's it so I have three groups here now what do we see in these groups at the moment these groups are empty but we could take any option from here and put it in the group so for example cut so I select this cut I select the group and then I say add so you see the cut option comes under group 1 then I select group 2 let's say fill color and add it so it comes under group 2 and then I select let's say free spins add and then it comes under group 3 so whatever options you use again and again or very frequently you could define them under your own groups so these are the popular commands you also have a possibility to see you know different types of commands and if you're not sure or you want to see all of them you can go to all commands so this all commands will list all the different commands that are available to be added to the groups okay so once we are done with this setting I can click on ok and now you see my tab appears here and it has three groups group 1 group 2 group 3 what we have defined and with the options that we frequently use so that's the way you could create your own custom tabs right now coming on to the next topic which is quick access so quick access is the menu that is available here where we see auto save and save so that's the place where the quick access buttons will appear okay to do that we'll right click here again go to customize ribbon and quick access is the next option here quick access toolbar so at the moment we have auto save and save here but we could add more options so let's see something from the popular commands uh, what we could let's say put in the quick access so for example quick print so I select quick print and I you can just press this add button and then it gets added here and as soon as I click OK you see the print button appears here okay so if you want to quickly give a print that's the shortcut you could just go to the quick access bar click on the print here and the sheet gets printed so that way you could also define your own quick access menu right so I hope these uh, tricks of the custom tabs and quick access will make your work faster right so then coming on to today's actions so try the buttons for the form and the ActiveX control customize them then try to use image as a button create tabs and quick access and once you're done with all these activities post buttons created in the WhatsApp group thank you very much